Okay, right, so today what you're going to be looking at is you're going to be looking at about finding a thousand more or less than a number. Okay, so we've looked at sort of that addition, we've looked at the subtraction, but now we're really going to focus on you know, looking at finding a thousand more or less than a number. So what we want to do is we really want to focus on the place value side of it. So if I have the number 273, okay, what I want to do first is I want to split that number. Okay, so I know what I've got. So I've got that 200. 70 and 3 correct okay so when i want to find say i want to find a hundred more than 273 so i want to find 100 more now the key thing there is the more okay 100 more than 273 now looking at that if i'm finding a hundred more which one is changing is it going to be my hundreds Okay, that is going to be changing. Is it going to be my tens that is changing, or is it going to be my units? Okay, now we should have realized that we're changing our hundreds, aren't we? Okay, and we're only changing it by a hundred more. So this is just adding one more hundred onto that. So my oh, one more hundred onto that. So I've got now 200, add my hundred. So I should have 300. My 70 stays the same, and so does my three. And then that gives me the number. 373 now what you could do make it nice and easy for yourself if you're knowing you've got a hundred more okay and you know that i've got my units my tens and my hundreds okay and i've got a hundred more well i know that i'm looking at this one here don't i i know that i'm looking at that too so what i should do is i should then change that to the three because i'm a hundred more aren't i i'm getting bigger and then everything else stays the same because i've not changed anything else okay Right, let's try now if it's 100 less, okay? So let's do 625, okay? So got 625, okay? So what we're gonna look at now is 100 less, okay? Now you can do it the same way as we've done it. So you should look at it, split it all up. So you know I've got 600, I've got 20, and I've got five, okay? Now if I'm looking at 100 less, okay? I know I'm subtracting, I'm going down because it's less, okay? Now that means this one is I'm going to be taking away 100 because I know I've got 100 left, okay? So that will give me 500. Now you put that all in the thing again, 520 and 5, which will make 525. Now there's an easier way, we've got to remember the easier way. If we know that we've got units, tens and hundreds, okay? I know if I've got 100 less, okay, I'm looking at the hundreds column. So I'm going to draw a little arrow there because I know I'm looking at that. Now, because I'm going 100 less, I'm going one down, aren't I? Okay, so one down would be five. Rest all stays the same. Okay. Now, if I had 625 and I wanted to do 300 less, it's the exact same. I look at the hundreds, tens, and units, and I know I'm looking at the hundreds because I'm in 300, okay? Now I'm just taking it down three, aren't I? Because it's 300 less, so 600, 500, 400, 300, okay? I've gone down 300, so that's 300 less. Everything else stays the same, okay? Now use this idea, okay? So you can have a look at it, really have a look, that if you're doing 100 more, you know, you're focusing on that one, aren't you? Okay, now if I have a look, let's turn over. Okay, at a thousand. So now if I've got four thousand seven hundred and sixty-three, okay, and I want to find a thousand more. Okay, you all you got to do is units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Okay, which is the one that I'm looking at? Is it looking at the because I'm doing a thousand more? Am I looking at the thousands column, the hundreds column, the tens column, or the ones column? Good. I'm looking at the thousands. Okay. And because I'm going 1,000 more, I'm only going to go up 1,000. So that will give me up one, wouldn't it? Okay. So that everything else then stays the same. Okay. It's the same if I'm going 5,000, um, 1,000 less. So if I'm going 1,000 less, I make sure I know I'm going less. Let's give my number as. 6,821. Same thing, units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. 
because I know I'm going a thousand less. I'm looking at the thousands column. So I draw a little arrow. Okay. And because I know I'm going less, I'm only going down one, aren't I? Because I'm going less. So that would bring me down to five. The rest of it all stays the same. Now, now you've watched this video, you've got an activity on Google Classroom that I'd like you to complete. Okay, now once you've completed that, you can send it over to me. You can send a picture of your work that's on the home learning page, or that's on the home learning book, or if you'd like to do it on a Word document. Okay, now remember though, it's easier when you write it out. Okay, you can upload a document that way. Okay, right, super, good luck.